Okay, it looks like we're right on time at 11 o'clock. I just want to welcome everybody who's joining us for our webinar today. Uh, happy Wednesday. Uh, today we're doing email and SMS marketing for casinos. This is the second installment of a series. Uh, if you had a chance to catch our one last year, uh, it's kind of showing the basics. This is a, a continuation of that. So you'll probably recognize a few themes as we go over the material being presented here today. I uh, just want to go into a little bit about who I am, uh, a little bit about MobileStorm before we go ahead and start. So today's demonstration is really to show what we feel works for casinos, and especially as uh, mobile programs and email programs have matured, uh, we typically get into conversations seven, eight, nine months down the road with clients uh, where sometimes programs become stale, uh, people get used to seeing the same offers, and so we got to keep it fresh. And that's really the idea behind today's presentation is we're really showing how we, how we think, uh, how we work with clients, the way we present ideas. And, uh, you know, some of you have, may have an experience with SMS in the past for your, your property or your casino. Some of you won't. I guarantee you'll get something out of this as far as value and, and understanding kind of the way these different things work. Today we're going to talk about location services uh, for SMS. We're also going to talk about automation, uh, campaign automation, to save you time. And we're also going to talk about uh, floor promotions that can be executed using SMS to kind of draw in your customer and have that more gaming feel uh, when we talk about your SMS program. Uh, also, at the very end, I, I think we promised everybody we'd be giving away an iPad. So for anybody that showed up to the webinar today, you're automatically entered to win an iPad. And we're going to talk about a little bit about our G2E party coming up in September in Las Vegas. So stay tuned to the very end for all of that information. We're going to talk about how you, how you can get involved in those things. And also, if you have any questions, uh, I'll be answering some questions at the very end. Just go ahead and type them into the chat box. And as we finish the presentation, I'll go ahead and, and read off a few of those and answer as many as I can before the end of our hour here. So let's just go ahead and, and start the presentation. I'm Darren Withers. I'm the head of client development and casino services for MobileStorm. I've uh, been with MobileStorm for about the past four years, although my entire career has been focused on casinos and gaming. Spent 12 years of my life in Las Vegas uh, working and five of those years working for a casino branding firm. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. I was never a tech guy before I came to MobileStorm, so I'm really a marketer at heart. I uh, worked with a lot of different casino properties uh, in my previous career with with the ad agency in Vegas and now with MobileStorm working with you know, uh, probably 40 plus different casinos. So I've got to see different markets, tourists, drive up, you name it. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot about things that I've seen work, suggestions we've made that clients have, that clients have tried. And you should get a pretty good idea of, of, of how we pitch and, and what we do. So these are just some general ideas just to give you guys a little bit of an insight into how a lot of these things work. So we're just going to go ahead and move right in. So. If you were with us last year for the first webinar we did on email and SMS marketing for casinos, we really started from bare bones. Uh, what that means is, you know, where do we start in launching a campaign? Well, today's webinar, or launching a program, and today's webinar is really about where, we, where do we go once we've launched. So we're already launched in this case. Uh, last year, I used an example casino that I made up in my head, uh, the Wynn Casino and Hotel, not to be confused with the one in Las Vegas, this is W-I-N. And the logo that you see there, it's my brilliant artwork. <laughs> uh, forgive me, I am not a graphic artist. And so we're, we're going to talk from the perspective of where we left off, which is we got programs launched. We're going to pretend the Wind Casino is my client, uh, and I'm MobileStorm consulting this client. And we had programs launched. We had a lot of great success, like most, most clients see when they first launch these programs. It's new. It's exciting. It's another way for your players to get offers, so they quickly latch on to anything and everything that you throw out there. But what typically happens is we'll track programs, and we see usually a large spike in the beginning, and then things start to taper off if, if we're just sending the same types of alerts, like bonus entries to drawings or you know, the same free play offer every week. We start to see those things taper off and as far as engagement and new signups. And so looking at this trend line, you can kind of see as a graphical example, hey, we had great success in the beginning, and now things are starting to taper off. So this is the problem we're dealing with. Uh, the email program for the Wind Casino has been pretty steady. You know, they see pretty normal returns when they send out an offer, whether it's hotel or a free play offer or whatever they're sending. 
Uh, but nothing's really changed. Things have been about the same for the last nine months. So that's that's the scenario. But like every casino property, uh, eventually even the brand gets a little stale. So just to throw in a little bit of fun into this one, we're going to completely rebrand the Wind Casino. Isn't that a great new logo? Uh, not only are we going to rebrand the Wind Casino, but clients had such huge success that they have acquired another property. So now they are not only in Tunica, Mississippi, but they're also in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, Tunica has a spa with their hotel, and Vicksburg location is just a, a small hotel and a casino. But they stuck around with us, so uh, we are going to be their consultants in, in engaging their customer groups for both properties. Uh, we're bringing on location services for this client. So there's a lot of new things. We're going to breathe some new life into the SMS program. We're going to automate some campaigns for email. And we're going to take this program to the next level. All right, so the first thing, uh, before we jump into the exact strategies and, and tactics for our client, Win Casino, is to really explain a little bit about location services. So location services, or LBS, we're not talking about pounds here. This is location-based location services. Uh, really applies to SMS in the context that we're talking about today. So the way that works is with virtual geofencing. So let's just understand a little bit more background too. Let's say the Wynn Casino has been very diligent at signing up their players and they've built a uh, opt-in database of 10,000 uh, players who want to receive text messages. Well, in Tunica, uh, they're, they're more tourist driven, right? You have all these casinos really in each other's backyards. Um, typically their customer doesn't live there, they're coming there to stay and then they're going home. So in, especially in Tunica, location services makes a lot of sense. And what this really allows us to do versus batch and blast text messaging, which is something we never want any of our clients to do. We always want things to be very strategic, have a lot of value, and um, be engaging for the customer. So location services allows our Win Casino in Tunica to target by a person's location at the time that we send a message. So think of location services as a big circle on a map, just like you see here. And on that map, uh, you'll see that we have Tunica, then we have Memphis, and then we have Little Rock. So Memphis is up here, Little Rock's over here, the actual property is right here uh, in Tunica. So what this is going to allow us to do is that is we can give specific offers using this geofence. We can run a, what we call a query, or basically looking up a cell phone number, right? We're looking up a cell phone number to see its location. Uh, we do that by basically sending a ghost text to the phone and using cell tower triangulation to figure out whether or not that person and that cell phone is either inside or outside of this geofence. If they're inside the geofence, great, we'll send them an offer that is specific to them, like a mobile hot seat, for instance, or, hey, go to the buffet right now. Things that only make sense if we know that person's on property. And then we may have separate programs set up because we wanted to really focus on feeder markets like Little Rock and feeder markets like Memphis. So in those cases, we would be able to uh, set up specific programs. So maybe we're running outdoor, uh, outdoor billboards in Little Rock. Say, hey, text to join and get location-specific offers from the Wind Casino in Tunica. And so we know that everybody we're sending using um, a location program in Little Rock, everywhere we were sending would actually be in Little Rock at the time that we send that message. So maybe it's like, hey, here's a $50 gas card to come to the Wind Casino in Tunica because we know that they have to travel a long distance from where they currently are. So really all location services allows us to do, which is really great, is to ensure somebody's in the right place at the right time that we send their message and we're creating a lot of relevance. So for tourist markets, this works really well. Uh, you know, you don't want to send customers information and offers when they're not in a position to take advantage of them. It just probably makes them angry or it, even worse is they'll want you to redeem that offer when they happen to come and then it just creates a little bit of a nightmare. With location services, we can just cut all of that out and ensure that people are in the right place at the right time. And on top of that, you get quite a bit of intelligence as well. Um, what intelligence might that be? Well, if I did a really good job at my players club, and I'm asking every single customer, hey, would you like to join our text message club? And you present it as a program and not a promotion. Hey, 
you know, give us your cell phone number, we'll give you $5, that's very short term. But if we're doing a good job in explaining the long-term value, hey, you'll get 30% more offers if you give us your cell phone number. Here's a few examples of those offers. Free play, uh, buy one, get one buffets. Give them some concrete examples, and they sign up. So if we're doing a good job with that, in that process, we're getting a cell phone number attached to a player ID. And that's very important because the intelligence piece of location services is that I, if I can run a list of 10,000 players that I have player IDs for, I know who those cell phone numbers belong to. And when I run my location query, say, a couple of times a month, not only am I sending a message that's location specific, but I'm able to get that list. And I'll be able to understand, hey, there are a thousand customers of mine who have opted into my cell phone program who I know are players at my property that I know are in Tunica right this minute. So even though I'm sending them an offer, I, I, I now have that intelligence that a thousand of my customers are in a position to come to my property. Now I can share that with my hosts, right? I can get a slot host and say, hey, you know, 50 of these are your customers. You should definitely get on the phone because they're here and if you don't know about them, well now you do. And so we can use that information to our advantage um, in, in that type of a scenario. We should still send them an offer. You wouldn't want to just run a location query just to get that intelligence you, in the spirit of the program and what you told people they were going to get, you should definitely send an offer, but you do get that added benefit of knowing that those, those customers are in uh, a particular location. Moving on, uh, we also have our Vicksburg locations. I just want to show you that we would set up, you know, this isn't as tourist driven in Vicksburg. Uh, they're pulling from Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, which is close by. So they don't have the problem of, of an you know, worrying about whether or not they're going to bug their customers by sending text messages. They're always in a position to come to the property. So we would use location services maybe a little bit differently, just to know, hey, we want to exclude everybody that's on property for this offer because we're trying to drive customers that aren't here to the property. For instance, hey, come in right now and get $5 in free play, $10 in free play. I may not want to give that to guests that are already on property playing so that I'm just giving away money. But, you know, we could use it in this application. So. What we're demonstrating here is the thought process, you know, knowing the market, understanding what type of customer we're talking about, what is their opportunity. And when we put all those pieces together and we add location services, we have something very powerful for text. In my opinion, uh, location services is really kind of the holy grail. It's very new for those of you who, who may not be familiar with this. Um, the ability to locate the majority of cell phones really came into play last year. It's not something that the carriers were uh, allowing companies like ours to access that, that information of where your cell phone is was really open to emergency services for the longest time. Uh, fortunately, our, we've taken on a location partner and this is all that they do. Now we have access to um, 96, 97% of all cell phones and being able to locate them uh, throughout the U.S. So this is very exciting stuff and we, we wanted to make sure that uh, everybody understands. So I'm going to go into a little bit more sort of about how this works. But to simplify this, location services just gives you the ability to add some relevance based on the location of the person at the time you want to send a text message. It gives, it gives us a real powerful uh, channel that we can work with. So there are some things that we need to understand, and this is where MobileStorm's expertise over the last 13 years really comes into play. You know, we've been in the space for a long time. Uh, we've, we've helped the Mobile Marketing Association write some of the best practices. Uh, so we've been We've been in this a long time. We pay attention to uh, not only our own uh, legal requirements, but we also pay attention to the gaming mark, uh, gaming industry's legal requirements in specific states. Uh, dealing in, in states like Maryland, Pennsylvania, uh, where things are a little bit stricter, we have to watch out for problem gamers and such. So we've taken all of these things into consideration when we're working with clients. And depending on the market you're in, we're going to make sure that you're compliant uh, on our end. These are things you may not know about, which is the TTIA. Uh, they are the wireless association. So basically, they corral all of the carriers that we work with, and these are the top four, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. These four guys cover about 96% of all cell phones. So when they say jump, we jump, and we let you know what, what you need to be doing to be compliant, and it usually comes down to language during the opt-in process or possibly an age verification uh, that's come into play recently. You know, whenever we get our clients dedicated short codes, and maybe I'll stop right here and explain what a short code is. Um, a short code is a five or six digit code that you can receive messages from. It's, it, they were really created to 
uh, make sure that you know as a consumer that this is coming from a company and not a live person. Um, most of most short code programs come off, or most uh, text message programs come off of a short code. So MobileStorm has what we call shared short codes, which multiple clients send from that number. So you may get a text from Win Casino, but you also may get a, another text from our other client, Broadway in Chicago, for instance. So you have to uh, kind of understand what the difference between a shared short code is. And a dedicated short code means it belongs to my client. Like Win Casino, if they got a dedicated short code, 777000, for instance, that would be their short code. Nobody else would be sending messages from that code. So along with short codes, uh, there's a lot of regulation. And these are the main uh, entities that will regulate. So the CTIA has the ability to audit uh, any short code marketing. So does AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, and really any of the carriers out there, US Cellular, and some of the smaller guys. Um, that's something that we take care of for our clients in the back end, so you never have to worry about it. But it, it does uh, give us some hurdles to overcome when we're doing these types of programs, especially with location-based services. So the location part adds another layer. Uh, there are a lot of privacy issues. I'm sure you've been paying attention to Google, Facebook. They're dealing with privacy issues all the time. What are you doing with my data? It's hot button these days. And if we're getting location information from somebody's cell phone, the CTIA and the carriers themselves, they all want to know what you're going to do with that. And they also want you to be very explicit with telling your customer what you're going to do with that information as well. And so that leads us right into these regulations. So here's an example. And I like to show in all cases, this is sort of the worst case scenario as far as having to deal with all the regulations you could possibly deal with in the strictest state possible. So this might be something you see in Maryland or Pennsylvania because they have to deal with the problem gaming language in a lot of their text messages and on signage and an email. So this is an example double opt-in text that somebody might receive after texting into one of your location programs. Shows the short code it comes from, and then it identifies the sender or the content provider, which is Win Casino, location alerts, news, and gaming offers. We're telling people what they're going to get. And that way they also understand uh, what the content is about. So we're giving people a clue. Hey, this is what you're opting in to get. 10 alerts per month. Very important that we tell people, hey, how many alerts are you going to get a month? Some people are still charged for their text messages, believe it or not. So we can't make people pay for our marketing messages, so we let them know ahead of time. Hey, if you're going to reply us to this message, you're going to pay for 10 text messages, possibly. And that's going to come from the carriers, and it depends on somebody's plan. We're not charging them. You're not charging them. That's coming from the carriers. Uh, we tell them message and data rates may apply. And here's the location-specific part, to share your phone's location and verify your birth date, age 21 plus or 18 plus, depending on the market. Please reply yes and your birth date, month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Gambling problem, call 1-800-522-4700. Reply help for help. So this is a worst case scenario, double opt-in message. Somebody's opting into a location campaign or a location program in a state that requires a age verification, which has come up several times. Um, actually, some of the carriers now won't let us get a short code for a casino unless there is an age verification. So we don't, we anticipate that to stay in place. We don't think that that's going to be something that they drop. Uh, also, that just started a few months ago, and that just shows you how much this stuff changes from day to day. Uh, we Before this year, we've never had that requirement where a casino customer had to have an age verification on the front end of an opt-in in order to get a short code. So now it's in place, and MobileStorm built and changed the technology to accommodate those types of things. And we can actually now, because of this, we've had to go beyond 160 characters. We actually changed our platform to accommodate uh, double the amount of character space, so 320 characters now. Uh, it'll come in two messages in case we needed all of this language for a customer. So we're just trying to show and demonstrate, hey, we're, we're very well equipped to handle the casino industry. We know all the requirements. And location services is the newest uh, feature on the block. So we want to make sure that you guys completely understand it and know what you're getting into and, and what the benefits are. All right. So that's pretty much it about location. If you have any questions or I didn't cover something, just go ahead and type it into the chat box. I'll make sure I get to it at the end. Uh, now we're going to jump into automation. So I really feel like it's important, and it's a huge missed opportunity. Uh, 
for a lot of casinos, especially with text, you have a huge opportunity to trigger messages while, while guests are on property and doing it at a time where it makes the most sense to them. You know, for instance, somebody's really happy, they're on property, they're excited enough to go up to the Players Club, walk all the way over there, give you their information, uh, then we should probably take advantage of that and make sure that they not only have a good experience on their, on their first day as a, a club member, but we should make sure they have a good experience with our text program and a really good experience with our email program. And that's going to set the stage for them to be engaged long term. We want you guys to make money, right? So I, I feel like that we can, we can engage that person from, from square one and make money in the first day that you engage them with text. And so we're going to show you how to do that. And these are just some simple ideas. Uh, and where this stems from is I do a lot of shopping. So I was just recently on vacation in Arizona. I drove back to L.A. Uh, where we're headquartered. And I stopped at three different casinos on my way back. And I, I went and signed up for a players club at all three properties. And the consistent theme that I've noticed, and this happens even with my client visits, is when they're asking for an email address, which is typical, not a lot of properties so far have asked me for a cell phone number, but I have filled in paper slips. I've been asked for my um, driver's license. I've been asked to verbally tell somebody. And in all instances, I purposefully either write down or say it weird uh, so that they can't understand what my email address is or maybe have a big opportunity for a misspell or a mistype. And almost never do I get corrected or asked to spell it out or asked to write it down. So they're just taking whatever I have to say, and there's probably a lot of slop there as far as getting a, a valid email address or a valid cell phone number from somebody. Uh, but even then, I was, I'm usually told after the fact, when I give up my email address or I give up my cell phone number, they go, oh, you gave us your email and your cell. Hey, you get $10 in free play. Um, rarely do I see that information uh, ahead of time, right? I could be standing in line for a few minutes. There's no signage that says, hey, if you sign up today, you're going to get $10 in free play for giving us your email address. I rarely see that. And I'm, I'm rarely told of the value for signing up. Just remember, you know, somebody's giving you their cell phone number or their email address, they usually want to know what you're going to do with it and why you need it. So your Players Club manager has a lot of power there in the first interaction. You know, if your marketing programs are dependent upon these, on the partnerships that you have internally with your Players Club, then you really need to make sure that they're doing these things the right way. You know, having some elevator statement about the value proposition. Hey, you're going to get great offers. Hey, if you're not if you're not giving us your email address and your cell phone number, well, you're only getting 70% of what you could be getting. To get that other 30%, you should give us your email address and your cell phone number. Hey, here's, here's an example of the offers that are going out in August. So they have some concrete examples that they can look at and go, yeah, I want that. I'm going to give you my cell phone number. I'm going to give you my email address. So as long as we've done that right, now we can go on to the automation piece right there at Players Club when we've collected this information. Um, one of the things that our system does really well, and something I've encouraged my customers to do, is to use a web form on an iPad. This doesn't even have to be an iPad. It could be an iPod Touch. It could be a, a laptop. It could be a kiosk. It doesn't really matter. Um, our customers can engage with our forms that we can generate right out of MobileStorm, or they could take this form code and embed it into a page on their own site, which can then, they can then display on something like a tablet or an iPhone or an iPod. doesn't matter. Point here is if we use a web form to get these people opted in, in one interaction, in real time, we're getting their first name, their last name, their cell phone number. We're getting their gender. We're getting their preferences. And that's the important part, especially when we talk about text. People don't want to get everything you have to offer. They want to get just the stuff they're interested in. If it becomes too much of a nuisance, they're going to opt out of your text message program and you'll never get them back. So this is the best way to do that. While you have that customer's attention, while they're excited at the Players Club to sign up to get offers from you, we should get their preferences. And this is the quickest way to do that. Whether your Players Club manager enters, enters this in for each person that comes up or you let the customer do it themselves, this is going to do a few things. It's going to tell us whether they're interested in gaming offers or dining or a hotel or shows or spa or golf but we're also going to get a player ID because they're up there getting their card. We're going to wait till that card is produced. We're going to put that player ID in there and hit submit. We do that on behalf of the customer. We're containing this program so people can't just text in and join. We know for a fact that they had to come through the Players Club because they could only sign up through this form. Once we hit the submit button, we have all of that information, and, and two things happen. An email address comes into MobileStorm and a cell phone number comes into mobile storm. And from there, we can control that interaction. 
Um, another way, and you know, I've, I've been to this a few times, and the form isn't always viable because of Wi-Fi issues or other issues. At a minimum, we could do something like this as well. This is pretty unique, um, and we're really playing off of the credit card companies here. For any of you on, on the call today who have ever gotten a credit card from a credit card company or a replacement card, you know those little metallic stickers that are on there that say, hey, you must call this 1-800 number to activate your new credit card. And people are used to doing that. So we want to sort of not take a nod to that uh, strategy and start to put stickers on our Players Club cards. Hey, text WIN to 777-000 to activate your mobile rewards. We're using that strong word, activate, just like you're activating your credit card. And then your customer will look at that differently. Ooh, I have to activate this. They'll feel like they have to do it. And then we put all our proper disclaimers on there. So now we're getting them into the program. It's like a second chance. Maybe your Players Club manager uh, wasn't able to get them to give it at the front. We're going to stick the sticker on there where they can spend time uh, peeling that off. It's a little, you know, a little more in their face. Another unique idea is for the back of the card. We can use the same sort of idea and attach stickers to the back with a 2D barcode. What that 2D barcode is going to allow us to do is uh, automatically input our information to somebody's contact in their phone. So if our short code 777-000 is input at, as the cell phone number, when somebody snaps that QR code and it goes into their phone, from that, that point forward, whenever we send them a text, it's going to say win casino instead of short code 777-000. That's a pretty cool thing. Not, you know, the way 2D barcodes go, not a ton of people will do that. But we're, we're using that application. A few people do it great. It's going to add to that experience. They'll have maybe our marketing line in there for when they need to call about offers. Just another little push we can do, a little more creative. So now that we've gotten the customer over to the Players Club, right, you guys have used your out, outdoor media, maybe some print advertising, whatever it took to get that person to come into the entrance of your casino uh, and, and, and drive them over to the Players Club. From there, that's where text takes over that interaction, right? So we're continuing your media. We're driving, we're using SMS to drive the rest of the uh, interaction around the casino in that first trip that somebody takes. So they're coming in, they're walking across the casino, they go to the Players Club. The Players Club manager is very good about telling them the value of the program, gets their email address, gets their cell phone number, issues them their card. Boom, they hit the submit button on our form, and from there, they're ours. Now we can use text messages as sort of a, a Scooby snack to, to sort of lead them around the property, and not only lead them around the property, but we want to extend their stay. And by extending their stay, we're extending their play. So if we're, we're getting more money out of that first interaction. And this is a place where, again, a lot of clients uh, can, can make more money, get more ROI right in that first interaction and track this program. Very trackable, very easy to do. And also, when we think about it, right, we want customers to have a really good experience in their first trip as a player. So we want to push them to the different uh, venues that we might have, right? Like the cafe, the poker room, the showroom, whatever. We want to move them around the casino in a very strategic manner. So you can sit down with a property map and kind of map these things out yourself. So Darren walks in today, he goes to the Players Club, he gets issued his Players Club card, he's told about the value of the email program, value of the text message program, and actually signs up. From there, boom. Maybe we make Darren wait 60 minutes and say, hey, in 60 minutes your free play is going to be added to your card. That might not be the truth, but it's going to get Darren to stay another 60 minutes, right? So we, we send him out there. He's waiting 60 minutes. That, maybe in that first interaction, right then and there, we auto-trigger right from the point at Players Club something to go to the cafe while they're waiting that 60 minutes for their free play to hit. So they get that text message. Boom, we wait till they're done eating. We hit them with another text message to finally go out to the casino, get that free play. Boom, go back to Players Club. And so in this interaction, we sent them three text messages maybe four or five. Um, we can do some testing with every client to find out what the tolerance is. But I've seen these things work. We can extend their stay for sure uh, by a half hour or 90 minutes, depending on your customer. We can move them to the cafe with a discount offer. We can move them back to the casino with their free play. And maybe your average customer prior to doing this only stayed an hour, two hours in the first interaction. We've extended that to three hours. And right there, imagine if you're getting every customer who signs up for the Players Club to stay an extra hour. That's going to equal a lot more casino win for you guys. And so that's really where we're focused. 
go ahead and move on. All right, so not only were we able to uh, in initiate a automated text message, uh, but we're also able to initiate emails right from the point of that form fill, right? They filled in the form at Players Club, gave us their email address. Well, we don't want to wait, you know, two weeks to a month to send them their first email. That's not a good experience for people. People need feedback. They need to know that they did things right. And so really in real time, the first message should trigger and be in their inbox at home waiting for them. Or maybe they're on their mobile device and they get it right then and there and they're like, wow, this is a really great program. Um, you know, I got a lot of feedback. They're happy. They're running around the casino. And, or they wait till they get home after they had a good experience and they open up their inbox and there's the wind casino again. So first thing that they should get in automation is a confirmation email message. In the scenario where uh, casino properties are given away, you know, $10 in free play, $20 in free play, just to get a valid email address, well, let's make sure that that email address is real and it's valid before we give up um, free play to these people. So the way we do that is we implement a confirmation message. This is going to automatically trigger as soon as somebody fills in the form. Uh, we, we outline it in three steps, making it real simple. Hey, add us to your address book, right? Add our updates at mail-wincasino.com to your address book. This ensures that you get our email. It's not 100% because email will never be 100%, but everything we do like this, every little piece, adds to our delivery. And this is going to help us get make sure we get into that inbox. It's going to be like we're a trusted um, a trusted sender for that person. They're basically telling their internet service provider, hey, I want mail from the Wynn Casino. That's step one. Step two, click the button to the right to verify your email address. Our system does this automatically. So we add this little link here. Customer comes, sees their email, clicks the button, and that verifies the email address so we know it's real. Now we should give them their free play. And the next thing we need to prepare them for is that another email is coming hey, we're going to send you our welcome message now that you've verified your email. So they click that link. Our system triggers out the next email in real time. Hey, welcome to the Wind Casino Email Club. You're now part of an exclusive program where you can expect the following benefits. Weekly Wind Casino newsletter every single Monday. So what are we telling people right there? We're setting up the expectation of when they should check their inbox. Customers ask me all the time, when's the best time to send an email? So the best time to send an email is when you tell your customer you're going to send it. We want to create a habit with people. So you choose the day of the week. You choose, you know, for relevancy purposes, you choose all of those things. You know, definitely pay attention to your customer. If they're older, if they work during the week, whatever, we want to make sure, you know, it's at times where they may be at home. But you tell them when you're sending your mail. And that, and, and most people open within 48 hours of receiving that mail. Um, next, we tell them, hey, you're going to get email only invitations to special events like slot tournaments, New Year's Eve parties, whatever. Uh, and the third thing, hey, exclusive birthday presents. So what we're doing here is we're building up the value proposition. We may have told them at Players Club why they should join. Now we're reiterating that. Hey, here's all the great things you should expect. And what this is, is doing is building a case for them to never hit this unsubscribe button down at the bottom of the email. Once, we, once they do that, we've lost them. We don't want them to hit the complain button ever. That means they're feeling abused and they've tried to opt out several times. So whatever we can do to get, to get this customer not only engaged, but give them reasons why they should never unsubscribe. And this is how you do that in a welcome message. You prepare, prepare them for a good interaction, a good experience, and they're going to love the Wind Casino. And then we just throw this in for good measure. Uh, you know, if they didn't join at the Players Club, we'll give them another opportunity to join uh, the Text Message Club. And we reiterate, hey, if you're not in our mobile club, you're only getting 70% of your rewards. If you position things that way to a player, they will latch onto it. They're like, whoa, whoa, I earned the other 30%. I'm going to join. That's how we want to present these, these programs. So continuing with the automation, maybe a day later, we trigger back another offer. We you know, hey, if you haven't joined our mobile club, you're not getting 100% of your earned offers. And this is where we're going to tell them, this is exactly what you should look forward to if you're in our mobile program. I'd almost suggest doing this once a month uh, as a campaign, not a triggered response, but as a campaign, letting people know, hey, this is what you could be getting if you're not in the program, and letting people know that are opted in to receive texts, this is what you're going to get. We're not going to tell you when we're going to send it, but you'll get this stuff this month. That's the value of staying in the program. Please don't ever reply, stop, and get out. So always answer that question. Why should my customer never reply, stop? Why should they never hit the unsubscribe button? As long as we're doing that and we're reinforcing it with communications and then we're actually delivering on those offers, you will have a great program that is, is giving you back an ROI. 
So in this case, um, we can make it a little bit easier for people to join the mobile club. So they can click here, and this is all automated. It'll go right to our web form where they can go ahead and fill in their preferences, hit submit, and they'll join this way. Again, we want to get a player player's club number as often as possible and get other information and in their preferences. So this is the best way to do that. And it's all done online. Uh, something else we can trigger. So maybe this is a series of five or six emails, you know, spread out across several weeks. So this could be something we do for one month. And I did this example as a June example. Darren, here's your here's June's free ticket giveaway. Text the word win ticks to seven 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 zero 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 now you could instantly win two tickets to Neil Diamond in Tunica on June 15th. Everybody's excited for Neil, right? Coming to America. <laughs> uh, you'll, receive a, you'll receive a code when you text in. Winning codes will start with win and then the number. And non-winning codes will begin with sorry and then the number. So what this is going to do is set the stage for a monthly promotion that we might do. It doesn't always have to be Neil Diamond. It could be an iPad giveaway. Uh, it could be anything. But the point here is that your customer is trained to know that there's a, a secret email that's coming every month where they have to respond quickly. And if they are the fastest to open that email and text in, they are going to win. It's not based on odds, not based on anything else, it's how fast they can do the action. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase our engagement with email, right? We're going to see our open rates go up because they're expecting this hidden email every single month. And it's also going to get more people engaged with our text message program all in one interaction. So we're creating good experiences for the customer. Just to show you how our system handles this, so I, I would actually have to create all of these winning codes and sorry codes ahead of time. Our system, as people text in from that email, they're going to see the email and they're going to text in. They're going to get this back. Win casino, win tech, win ticks promo. Here's your code. Code, and it'll distribute one of these codes as people text in, starting from the top and working its way down. So the first person to text in gets win 0001. Second person, win 0002, and it goes down the line. And our system will actually take that code and pop it right in there where that variable is. So they get their code, they know whether or not they instantly won or lost, and then ask them, hey, reply yes to continue and receive location alerts from Wing Casino. So if they weren't in our program prior to receiving that email, this is another reason that they should join. And you can see sort of as we develop this and as we create these communications, we're building a strong case as to why a customer and a player should be in this program. Keep it moving. So now we're going to talk about some unique promotions. Hopefully those, all of these were unique, but I feel like these are very uh, unique promotions that we could do uh, at almost any casino property. Um, you know, nothing's worse than when a program gets stale and boring like I talked about in the beginning. You know, if you send the same things over and over again, just like a slot tournament or any other thing that you do in casino world, um, you have to rewrap it. You have to make it more exciting. You know, this, today it's the Gilligan's Island slot tournament. Tomorrow we take that same slot tournament, we rewrap it, and we we call it the Lost uh, tournament. So, you know, they, these themings and these other things that happen are natural to casino, and we got to remember that with our text message program as well. It has to change. It has to evolve. But as we build it over time, it'll become more complex. But that's where our account management comes in. We help you with that along the way. So this is an interesting um, promo that I, I sort of brainstormed. Almost every market, you know, uh, there are progressives, progressive jackpots that are close to hitting. Customers love to be notified. I have a couple of clients doing this now. I love to be notified when progressives are about to hit. So we could even take this a step further and tie in another goal, which might be to engage more of your Facebook uh, fans. So. Taking a look at this, I, I did some research. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I did some research and found TV hits and Wheel of Fortune slots. So these might be two in Mississippi that are pretty popular and people want to know about. So if you have two progressives that are about to hit, you could actually let your customers text in and vote which one they think is going to hit first. So it's kind of a fun thing. It's related to gaming. It's getting people to pay attention. We're going to put this into their um, unconscious mind that they know that these things are about to hit and really drive that message home. So we'll allow people to text in the word TV hits or or wheel to vote. And the way that we'll execute this is when people do that, they're going to get a response message. Win Casino Progressive Jackpot Drawing, 
TV hits grows by the day, reply yes to confirm your entry and receive location alerts from WIN. So this will make sense in the next slide because of the output and the way that looks. So on the Facebook page itself, we're actually going to see the results of those people texting into their TV hits or wheel. So we get to see the voting happening in real time. I understand that you may not be able to see this very well, so let me go ahead and enlarge that for you. So you can see our system actually generates this page. You don't have to generate it. This is something out of the box with mobile storm. So what I can do is allow people to sit there and vote. I can show the results on my Facebook page, getting more engagement from my, my players that are happen to be Facebook fans. And people are texting in and they're seeing this bar graph grow in real time and it's kind of exciting. Uh, the next phase of this is you would actually maybe attach a drawing to it. So if you're in the group of people that predicted which progressive was going to hit first, then you should reward those people. Maybe there's a bonus drawing or maybe you give away an iPad or free play or whatever. You can just do something different every month. I realize regulations in each state are different. So you, something you probably have to get approved um, in certain jurisdictions. but it's a unique idea, it draws in your Facebook followers. You can really use this for anything. I've had clients use this for a gift of the month. They vote whether you want this gift, that gift, or the third gift uh, for your gift of the month next month. And they vote, and that's the gift that they get. So there's a lot of applications for this. Um, you can dress these, these voting screens up quite a bit. We can add headers and footers. Uh, this is just pretty basic. I threw this together in just a few minutes inside of MobileStorm. This is a really cool, unique, fun promotion. I've had a few clients execute some, something similar. Uh, we may, you may see that I sort of kind of rip off uh, deal or no deal in this promotion, but that's okay. We do that all the time in the casino industry. So, uh, I am very visual. Whenever I do floor signage or, or recommend floor signage to a customer, I'm saying, hey, let's make it pop-up pop book style. Let's make sure your customer has no issue doing this the correct way. Right? We show them in the two line, you put 777000. In the message line, you put win cash. And that's the keyword that they're going to text in. And then we explain the promotion. So the premise here, and I'll just explain it, is somebody comes in, they text win cash to 777000, and they get to participate in our monthly win cash $500 mobile cash promotion, or win casino mobile cash promotion. We give them all the proper disclaimers, like all of our signage and, and advertising should have for our program. And then we tell people how this works. 500 codes will be distributed via text each week. Text in one time each week to get your codes. So we're already telling them, hey, there's only 500 codes. If you want to participate, you better be one of the 500 people that text in. Then they text in one time to get their code. We tell them, hey, there's five winning cash codes that will be revealed weekly, Monday through Friday. Codes will be displayed on the win cash board, which is an actual physical board that we would put up in the casino somewhere. Maybe it's in the uh, maybe it's in the Kino area or maybe it's in the cafe. We could actually move it around so that people will be drawn to that area of the casino where we want them to go. And then we tell them, hey, you can text win cash again throughout the month to find out what each case is worth. So I'll show you what I mean by cases and I have an idea to do cases as to reveal for each prize. <coughs> so just like you saw in the previous example, we have codes preset in the system and the system's waiting for people to text win cash to 777000 in order to get their code. So our system recognizes that as people text in, it's going to give distribute one of these 500 codes that we have set up. Great, here's your code. Reply yes, continue, and receive location alerts from win. So we're getting that opt-in as well. So now somebody has their code, and every week we have that win cash board. Again, you can put this wherever you want throughout the casino because people are going to go there to see if they won. So the week one, we reveal the first code, WC2345. Then the next week, another number, WC1685. Another number, WC004. Another number, WC1555. And then on the fifth week, WC003. So just like in the last slide, if you were the lucky person who got this code, and then you see that you, hey, I, that suitcase on the third week matched my code. I'm a winner. And so the next thing they're going to want to know is what was in the case? What did I even win? Well, this is the really cool part about using text is that anybody, whether they're the winner or not, could text in this code to 777000 and see what's in the case. So let's see what happens when we do that. Hey, win cash, a win casino win cash promo. This suitcase has $200 in it. If you had the winning code, then head over to the Players Club. Otherwise, wait for the next reveal. 
So it's a really cool, fun, interactive promotion. The best part is it doesn't take a lot of management. We set this up ahead of time, and it basically runs itself. Set it and forget it. If you ever watch those Ron Cohen commercials about rotisserie chicken, you know what I'm talking about. So these are the, some of the easier things that we like to automate. You know, automation allows you guys to be freed up. Nobody has to sit and manage something. And, you know, the customer kind of moves themselves around and figures things out on their own. But you really have to uh, promote the program, let people know that it's there, and it gives people another reason to belong to the text message program. So those are just some unique ideas and promos uh, or promotions. And in every case, we want to add, you know, new dimensions to the text message program and the email program. And by doing these things, combining them, uh, doing instant wins, doing floor promotions, you're adding a gaming element. You know, you're really creating a connection there to, between being a player and being a part of the text message program and the email program. So that's what we want to do. If you're, all you're doing is sending simple alerts, it's going to feel like a mailbox. It's going to get um, possibly annoying to your customers. So really thinking about these things, planning them out, introducing new programs to the text message program is what's going to keep people in it and stop them from opting out. Let's talk about organization. So in order to get this level of complexity in your programs, it's, it's really important that you stay organized. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm very good at and, and my team is good at is making sure our clients have the tools to be organized and understand how these things work. So I often recommend that customers are planning out on a week-by-week -week basis. And you know they're planning out week-by-week, -week and we have a representation for each day. And along the left-hand side here are the types of offers they're going to uh, send through text. Now, this doesn't mean <clears throat> that we have to plan everything ahead. One of the big benefits of text is that we can do things on the fly. But there's going to be a lot of things we know we want to promote and a lot of you know, we're going to know, hey, Monday's our slowest day, and we're going to want to get people in that day of the week. So we can plan a lot of our offers. The best thing you could do is plan more offers than you want to send, and then work with your op casino operations to say, hey, is it busy today? Because if it is, we'll kill this offer for free play that we're going to send on Monday. And you can do that up until the last second. So you want to over plan and then start to take things away, not try to figure things out last second. And that way they're all ready to go. So if we plan this way, we should be good. We know we're going to give back the value that we promised people in the text message program, and everything should run smoothly. The next thing we want to do is buy a program. You know, somebody signed up to receive gaming offers. Somebody else has signed up to receive hotel. Somebody else has signed up to receive food and beverage. And then any combination of those. So we always need to take a look at the text message program from the point of view of somebody who's really excited about all your programs and will do anything to get any offer that you send ever. And they may have texted into every keyword we put out there. And so we should really look at it from that person's perspective. Are we inundating them? Is there too much a certain day of the week? Hey, we're sending all of our offers here on Wednesday because they're color-coded. Uh, maybe we need to move those to Monday where we really need the help on the slot floor. Or maybe this just represents a certain tier of player, right? And there's another calendar for a different tier and another calendar for a different tier and another calendar for unknown. So you can really get strategic with this. Um, you know, like anything else, you know, if you spend 90% of your time on your direct mail program and then you carve out 8% of your time for your email program and 2% of your time for your text message program, you probably won't get much out of it. You know, it really does require a little bit of work and planning and collaboration with us uh, in order to make these programs really successful. And they can be, and I see it every day. All right, so that kind of brings us to to the end. I do want to take a look and see how many questions we have. Let me take a look. Okay, so it looks like we have a couple of questions. I'm just going to go ahead and take them in order. So first question is, can location be used to send an alert when somebody steps foot on my property? It's a good question. Um, I've been asked this quite a bit. So you could do something like that. But again, you know, if thinking back to the beginning of this presentation today, um, if, you, if you did do something like that, you really have to tell the customer what they're getting into and how you're using their location. So the signage would have to say something like, text in to receive offers when you're at my competitor properties. Now, the issue isn't executing that type of a program. I just wouldn't imagine anybody opting into that program. It sounds too big brothery. 
You know, and the CTIA and the carriers and our location partner all require that we submit these programs for approval. So if you were to, to outline a piece of signage that said something like that, hey, text, text in so you can get offers when you're on our competitor's property, nobody's going to opt into that type of program. So to answer that question, yes, we can do it. Uh, is it advised? Probably not. Could you test it? Sure. Uh, you just may want to be creative in how you go about a program like that. So take the, you know, somebody in Biloxi or Las Vegas, it would be easier to do that because you know, you know, all of your competitors are within a, you know, right next door, basically. So you could just create a geofence that says, hey, if you're on the Las Vegas Strip, and then you can take the customers, you, and then you can do a geofence around the property and subtract people that are on the property to the people that are all, all in Las Vegas and just make assumptions that they're here. So kind of got to think about those things a little bit. It, it just has to be explained to the customer how you're using their, their location. Uh, next question is, can location be used to send an alert when someone steps foot on my property? <clears throat> okay, this is uh, very similar to the last question. Yes, you can do this. However, uh, it's not very cost effective to do that. So unlike mobile apps, where mobile apps, it's basically free uh, to find somebody's location once they have their app on, uh, with this location service for text, there's no, nothing to download. There's nothing actually on the phone to transmit where that location is. It's we send a text, like a back-end text to that phone to find out where it is. So you would have to continually do that. Uh, and, you're, and you know, our average price for that type of a query is two cents. So you'd be constantly, you know, say your database is 5,000 uh, cell phone subscribers, you're constantly checking to see if those 5,000 cell phones are in Las Vegas or wherever. Um, it, it would be difficult and very, very cost prohibitive for clients to do that. So a workaround for that is to pick certain times of day that might be more important, like 7 o'clock on a Friday, and then you know that those people are probably in town for the entire weekend, so you can just make that assumption sort of save money that way and not, not be constantly pinging those phones. So it would be difficult to get somebody an offer as soon as they step off the airplane like that, but you could schedule five a day, six a day, and it will be close. So you can mimic those things. You just it's, it, With text, it's, it just doesn't work the same as a mobile app to be able to trigger offers like that with a geofence. So you can do it. You just have to be strategic and you have to be mindful of the costs that are associated with that. See if we have any more questions. Okay, so far uh, those are all the questions that I see. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this, uh, take, uh, finish this up. And uh, just a couple things I wanted to mention before I go, as we're doing some fun things. So you may have seen this on the invite. Hey, we're going to give away an iPad Mini. So stay tuned. We're going to reach out today. Not sure how we're going to pick it. Maybe we'll dump everybody into a hat or something uh, that attended the webinar today. So. If, you, if we call you, answer the phone, because we're try, probably trying to give you a price. Um, also, we've decided to make this offer since G2E is coming. We're actually doing a uh, large nightlife event uh, for the G2E conference. You are all going to be invited. Don't worry. Uh, we should be getting out our invitation soon. It's going to be on September 25th uh, at the Axe Nightclub inside the Palazzo. So just mark your calendars for that. But uh, we'd love to, any new clients who sign within the next 30 days, we'd love to take you with us and show you a good time. That's a lot of our co corporate culture. Um, we, like, we like to entertain clients, show them what they're all about, and show that we know um, how to engage customers. So we will be doing some text promotion live at, at the G2E event uh, that will demonstrate some pretty unique knowledge and, and, and expertise. We're also going to do some prize giveaways there. It should be pretty exciting. So mark your calendars. September 25th in Las Vegas for G2E. If you sign up, I'll definitely be seeing you there. And then my contact info. So uh, a lovely young lady here at MobileStorm may be reaching out to you today named Kayla Wilson. But you can feel free, if you want to, to reach out to me directly with anything I may have missed or if you want some clarification on anything. I'm always happy to talk to our casino customers. It's in my title, so it's kind of inbred in me. Um, so feel free to reach out, Darren at MobileStorm.com if you have any questions. And stay tuned for our next webinar uh, we'll be doing next month. It's going to be on the legal side, compliance issues related to gaming and doing text programs to, or just mobile programs in general. should be a good one. Look for that at the end of the next month. We'll be sending out invitations.
So I do want to thank everybody who took the time to join us today. We really appreciate your time. Um, and, and keep, keep your uh, ears open for our phone calls just in case you won that iPad Mini. All right, thanks and have a good day.